Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. Whether you're joining us live or later today or even on another day, I am very glad that you are with us. And so, as always, we're going to start with a blessing, and then we'll be reading from the book of Psalms. Today it is Psalm chapter 37, and then we'll be reciting the Apostles' Creed and the Lord's Prayer together. <clears throat> and then we'll be going through the prayers of the people, and we're going to go ahead and get started this morning. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. In reading Psalm 37. Don't get upset over evildoers. Don't be jealous of those who do wrong, because they will fade fast like grass. They will wither like green vegetables. Trust the Lord and do good. Live in the land and farm faithfulness. Enjoy the Lord, and he will give what your heart asks. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust him, he will act, and will make your righteousness shine like the dawn, your justice like high noon. Be still before the Lord and wait for him. Don't get upset when someone gets ahead, someone who invents evil schemes. Let go of anger and leave rage behind. Don't get upset, it will only lead to evil. Because evildoers will be eliminated, but those who hope in the Lord, they will possess the land. In just a little while, the wicked won't exist. If you go looking around their place, they won't be there. But the weak will inherit the land. They will enjoy a surplus of peace. The wicked plot against the righteous, grinding their teeth at them. But my Lord just laughs at them, because he knows that their day is coming. The wicked draw their swords and bend their bows to bring down the weak and the needy, to slaughter those whose way is right. But the sword of the wicked will enter their own hearts. Their bows will be broken. Better is the little that the righteous have than the overabundant wealth of the wicked. The arms of the wicked will be broken, but the Lord supports the righteous. The Lord is intimately acquainted with the lives of the blameless. Their heritage will last forever. They won't be ashamed in troubling times, and in a period of famine they will eat their fill. But the wicked will die, the Lord's enemies will disappear, disappear like the beauty of a meadow in smoke. The wicked borrow and don't pay it back, but the righteous are generous in giving. Those blessed by God will possess the land, but those cursed by God will be cut off. A person's steps are made secure by the Lord when they delight in his way. Though they trip up, they won't be thrown down. Because the Lord holds their hand, I was young and now I'm old, but I have never seen the righteous left all alone. I have never seen their children begging for bread. They are always gracious and generous. Their children are a blessing. Turn away from evil, do good, then you will live in the land forever. The Lord loves justice, he will never leave his faithful all alone. They are guarded forever, but the children of the wicked are eliminated. The righteous will possess the land, they will live on it forever. The mouths of the righteous recite wisdom, their tongues discuss justice. The instruction of their God is in their hearts. They don't miss a step. The wicked, on the other hand, target the righteous, seeking to kill them. But the Lord won't lead the righteous to the power of the wicked and won't let the righteous be found guilty when they are judged. Hope in the Lord and keep his way. He will lift you up so you can possess the land. When the wicked are eliminated, you will see it for yourself. I myself have seen wicked, powerful people exalting themselves like a stately cedar. But when I came back, they were gone. I looked all over for them, but they couldn't be found. Observe those who have integrity and watch those whose hearts right, because the future belongs to persons of peace. The wrongdoers will be destroyed altogether. The future of the wicked will be cut short. The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their refuge in times of trouble. The Lord will help them and rescue them, rescue them from the wicked, and he will save them because they have taken refuge in him. All right, and now I'll be placing the Apostles' Creed in the comments so we can recite it together. Also, good morning, Darla. It's good to see you here this morning. Right. 
Let us now declare our union with followers of Christ around the world and throughout all of history in the reciting of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now I'll be placing the Lord's Prayer in the comments so we can recite it together. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father who is in heaven, uphold the holiness of your name. Bring in your kingdom so that your will is done on earth as it's done in heaven. Give us the bread we need for today. Forgive us for the ways we have wronged you, just as we also forgive those who have wronged us. And don't lead us into temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now I'll be putting the prayers of the people in the comments so we can recite it together. Or recite them together. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And do you promise through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them? Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. As always, the refrain, the part of the prayer that we all say together is in all caps so that you can distinguish it. Lord, we pray for the worldwide church, for our congregation, the journey, and for our campus outreach ministry at Graceland University, that we may all be one. We open our hearts so that we may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all spiritual leaders around the world, and especially for our own pastors, Justin, Sean, Mia, Tim, Lily, and Eli, that they may be faithful ministers of your gospel. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, especially our President Joseph, our Vice President Kamala, our Governor Mike, our Representatives Joshua, Sam, Emmanuel, and Ray, and those who serve in the local elected positions of our communities. That there may be justice and peace on the earth. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, especially Robert, who is undergoing CART therapy, Charlotte, who is going through various health problems, Pan's granddaughter-in-law, who has been diagnosed with cancer, Patricia and her son, who have a fractured relationship, the people of Afghanistan, that they might experience peace in the midst of a power transition. For Mike Snyder, whose brother Greg passed away recently. For Nikki, who recently had a hysterectomy. For Christina, who has COVID. For Don Lowry and her family. For Shelley and her family. For Patricia's granddaughter, Americus. For Patricia and her family, who are going through a rough time. For Deborah's stepmother, Roxanne, who recently had a tracheotomy and is in rehab. For Anna Lee and her children, who recently lost their husband and father Michael to cancer. For Jeremiah's sister Jennifer, who has stage 4 breast cancer. For Brandy and Jim and their family, who lost their grandchild Everett. For Jennifer Holloway's husband, who is searching for employment. For Jennifer Moore and her family, that they may regain a sense of balance and peace in their lives. And for Michelle's uncle Dwight, whose wife Barb passed away recently. Let them be delivered from their distress and raise us up as your hands and feet in this world. 
Let us live in the light of your grace as we go about our daily lives. We especially thank you for your loving provision for Darla as she diligently cares for her mother in the midst of sickness, for Nikki while she performs her daily work as an RGM and as she explores her faith day by day, for Angie as she goes through physical therapy, and for Mia and Tim and Allie as Allie recovers from her surgeries. Let us always remember and live within the grace you are always giving us. Give to those who have passed, especially Greg Snyder, Michael Montier, Everett, Barbriel, and those in our communities who have lost their lives to alcohol or drug addiction, eternal rest. Let the light of your love shine on them forever. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom and work to bring it about here on this earth. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by troubles, and in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All right, and that concludes daily morning prayer for today. So as always, I am putting a link in the comments, rethinkfaith.org slash prayer, where you can go to submit your own prayer request. Um, as always, please specify if it is a public or private prayer request. The public prayer requests will be in the prayers of the people, so they'll appear here every day. And the private prayer requests will only be shared with the Journey's leadership team, but either way, you'll have people praying for you. And then, of course, please send us updates so we can keep praying for you in whatever way is best for you. And that's everything I have for today. So to anyone who's been here, thank you so much for being here. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. for daily morning prayer.